other fears that we do, a, a reason why we want. Fear the unknown. That fear of the unknown. I don't know what that looks like. You know, it's been said that people will choose unhappiness over uncertainty. They will learn to get comfortable in something they can't stand. But I would rather remain in this mess and complain about it <laughs> than take action and do something about it. And what's the price? The price is all this incredible potential and opportunity of a life or, an, or, or a possibility that will never be experienced. Because I will remain here. I'm certain of this mess, but I'm certain of it. <laughs> it's mess, but it's my mess. <laughs> and I know how to live in it. There's another fear. The fear of failure. What if I try something new? What if I go for that position? What if I go for that opportunity? What if I go for it and it doesn't work? Oh, public humiliation. What are people going to say when they discover I'm not as good as they may have thought I was? What are you going to say when you realize they never thought you were that good? <laughs> In the first place, no. <laughs> But anyways, the price, and I want you to personalize this now. Please understand, you're hearing my story, but I want you to internalize this. Because this is not a talent issue. You have everything you need. It's not a talent issue. You have what it takes. I don't care what it is that you're going after. You have what you have. You have everything you need. That's not the problem. The challenge is fear can hinder our potential more than anything else. It's what's going on in the imagination. I think you like this little slide here. Got four monkeys. Everybody see the monkeys? Okay. They're cute, aren't they? Okay. Now I can say that because, you know, I'm like 6'4", 230. So, uh, you know, people usually allow me to call little monkeys cute just because of my size. <laughs> okay. So I just want to make sure for the men in the room I didn't lose any cool points just now. Okay. <laughs> But anyway, we've got four monkeys, and I'm going to use this example of these four monkeys. It, it was interesting. There was a, a study that they did. And in this particular study, what they discovered was how fear can be conditioned. It's a conditioning thing. Because when we were all born, none of us were born with fear. We weren't afraid of anything. I think, what, maybe loud noises and heights, maybe fear falling. But everything else, 99.9% .9 of every fear in this room that we all have has been learned. And what's amazing is some of the fears that we have of what we believe we can do or what we believe we can't do aren't really our own fears. that We've borrowed them from someone else. And so when they did the study with these four monkeys, they had these four monkeys, and they had this pole. And on the top of the pole, they put some treats, like some bananas up there. So the you know, put the four monkeys inside the room. The first monkey runs right up the pole. And right before he touches the bananas, he gets sprayed with a bunch of cold water. So, you know, normally he just came, run, and jump down. The next monkey says, hey, too bad for you, I'm going to get him. So the next monkey runs, monkey runs up the pole, only to be sprayed in the face with water, and he comes down. Then so on and so forth. So the third monkey went up, he gets sprayed, and finally the fourth monkey paused for a while and was thinking maybe this time would be different. So he went up there, and he gets sprayed. Now, you have four monkeys in a room who's actually had an actual experience with being rejected. They've had an actual experience with being sprayed in the face with cold, water, with cold water. But what they do next, and this is what the experiment was, they decided to take a monkey who wasn't in the room originally and replace him with one of the original members. So that new monkey gets in the room. He's looking at the other three, wondering what their problem is. Looks up, runs all the way up to the pole. Right before he grabs the bananas, no, he doesn't get sprayed. He gets grabbed by the other three monkeys. And they pull him all the way down. Okay, okay, we got it. So they decide to continue with the experiment. So now they grab another monkey and replace one of the original members. And that monkey crawls up to the pole, only to then be pulled down by the others. They went through this process enough 
By now, every new monkey who came in to climb up the pole to grab bananas was getting pulled down by monkeys who had never been sprayed by water. Now, I hope you make this practical now. It is amazing how we allow other people's fear to be contagious and become our own. That's why, you know, I, I laugh. I said, you know, you always tell uh, uh, when fear becomes contagious. Because people will think of an action they can take or something to solve a problem. Or to, you know, I have an idea that can really fix a solution in my organization. And they're all excited about the idea. But before they go present it, they end up running into a few monkeys. <laughs> and those monkeys let them know. They say, hey, whoa, you may not want to go do that because this is what's going to happen to you when that happens. <laughs> 